Hey, hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Oh, that beeping is gonna get out of my nerves. But anyway, I was watching the footage and I decided I should try something like this. Just like this, like that, then Z target. Come on, fall down. And just do that. Light this real quick. And then light that. See, the first torch went out the first time that I did that and I didn't notice it. But what the heck did that do anyway? <laughs> I, th did that like prevent the skull to love from reappearing or respawning, excuse me, when you leave the room? No. So what's the point of lighting these torches? It's probably for something. But anyway, I'm just gonna kill him off and I also seen this in the recording as well. Yeah, this is a totally different day that I'm recording here. And I also realized that, as I said, I'm very low on health, so we're going to be hearing this annoying beeping thing for a while. Unless, of course, there's going to be some hearts in some of these pots, unfortunately not. Ah, it's just how things go with me sometimes, isn't it? And yeah, I noticed this block here. So, let's push this all the way over to the other side. Yeah, this is going to be tedious as all heck as, as of before. So you don't have to do anything with that block in the center, you just have to use this block to jump up on top of the other platform, which is a lot less complicated actually than the original room was, because of the fact that uh, before you had to stop fire, and hello there, yeah, there we go. If, like before in the original room you had to stop the fire and then shoot a switch off onto I mean I should say off in a little alcove off to the side there or something like that and I see some keys in this room so I'm just gonna yeah snipe them off and hopefully I'll be able to get some hearts from these suckers oh there's one right there oh, oh that wasn't that was just the dying keys whoops <laughs> that was just some Keese droppage, keese dropping, I guess. Some poop. And there we go. Oh, there's a heart here. I definitely can use that. And fairy! Fairy! Yes! No, no! Fairy? Please? Thank you! Thank you! Thank you! I would like to touch the fairy. Fa How hard is it to touch this freaking fairy? Did it, did, did it disappear? Oh, come on! That was just plain embarrassing. Uh, oh, I uh, learned something from people, is that um, I totally forgot about this actually, offhand, that uh, see this bomb on the wall? You can get these bombs off the wall to uh, use to blow things up. Uh, what you do is you take a Deku stick, light it on fire, then you touch the bomb with the stick, and then you can pick up the bomb and then use it somewhere else! Yeah, that works for me. And I can't believe I missed that fairy. Oh, 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 oh. There's a false room. These guys are a joke. Oh, anyway, actually, what I should do here, uh, since I'm in a lava room, I should switch shields and, yeah. Basically, Z target them and then just guard. And when they swing their sword, attack them. That's all you have to do. Just look at, watch us. They won't do anything. Come on. It's, it's just... Ridiculous! These guys are a joke and they call themselves a boss. Well, at least the music implies that they're a boss. But these guys are no boss, that's for sure. Come on, just swing your little dagger there. And when they jump over you, just put down your shield once again. They, they can't touch you at all as long as you have your shield up. It's ridiculous! <laughs> Come on, which one? Ah, uh, it's gonna be you, huh? It's gonna be you. And yeah, you can also attack them before they swing, but it's much safer to do if you just attack them when they swing. And that's all there is to these guys. They're pathetic. And there's a supposedly stronger version of these things later on in the game, but they act pretty much the exact same way. So it's like, what's the point? <laughs> and that's the end of them. Now, in this room! Because I'm still low on health, I'm going to be looking for some health, if at all things. I mean, this is a boss room, so I'm expecting that there's going to be some sort of health-related implement here. And that's those boulders are blocking my pathway there. I need regular bombs to see what the heck is over there. Ah! Oh, yeah! That felt great! Okay, I'll be back in here later, I think, to blow up those things. 
or maybe not. So like, oh wait, maybe this is the room that I was thinking of that you need to stop the fire in the middle of the room before you uh, can shoot the thing off to the side. Hmm. Anyway, I, I would like to like check around this room just to make sure I'm not gonna get ambushed by something. There's probably gonna be like some babies around here or a switch. Okay, what does this do? Always hit those switches with your sword to see what they do, and I can't tell what the heck that did. <laughs> Seriously, what did that do? Oh, uh, well, I can... No, I can't blow that. Was I... Wait a second. I wasn't supposed to bl uh, break apart that crate, was I? Because I can use that crate to climb up there. Uh, well, what did that switch do anyway? Seriously, I hit the switch, and it did nothing. <laughs> well, I see a bomb flower over there, but I can't even, you know, jump over there because of that fire. So, and I know I can't push those crates, so, wait, 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 will this respawn hearts? Will it respawn hearts? No, okay, just wanted to check that for the heck of it. Alright, what do you want from me, game? Let's see, let's, let's not move this crate and just climb on top of it like so, and no, I can't use the crate to get up there, okay. So what do you want from me, sir? I bet you I have to blow up that boulder. I know I can't climb on top of it, but the thing is, is that after hitting that switch, what in the holy name of Arceus does that do? <laughs> I know this crate is useless because... I just simply can't, like, use it to jump on top of anything because that's, you know, of the same level. So, let's just hit that switch and figure out what the heck that did. <laughs> oh, there's this keys here, I guess. I'll be just hanging out there in the corner. Eh. Oh, it hurt. Good, th good thing I fell off the edge there a little bit. Otherwise, I might not have seen that hurt. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Did that switch switch the position of the fire? Yes, it did. Okay, so that's what it does. Oh, no, wait, the switch doesn't switch the position. It turns off one fire and leaves the other one on. Okay, so I'm just going to grab this and run around. Switch camera. Well, kind of. Please blow that boulder up. No! Uh, let's try that again. At least, at least I know what I'm going for now. So, wait, wait, wait. I think I got a better method here. Get on the edge and shoot the switch from a distance. Yeah, that'll give me more time to get that boulder over there. Oh, wait, wait, I, I can't stand up there. Ow! I can't stand up there anyway. And that keys is horrendously in the way. <laughs> like, no enemy has ever been in the way before. So I guess I'm going to have to take care of that. And I feel like I haven't been through very many rooms here. <laughs> but I've, I've, got, I've really got to take care of that keys there. No doubt about that. Otherwise, that's, that's going to get in my way from the... Like, i got to just take my priority here and snipe this keys there. And now, should I... Well, I'll see what this bomb unlocks once I pick up this bomb and blow off this boulder here. Because... I don't know what, what the heck this is going to do. <laughs> okay, so that... Oh, it's a switch. This switch... I bet you this turns off... Yeah, it turns off that fire. Okay. But does it do it permanently? That's the thing. Because if it doesn't do it permanently, I'm going to have to do this like all in one run. That's, that switch looks like it's the kind of switch that stays down once you press it. Because I didn't hear, like, oh, it doesn't stay down. Curses! Okay, okay. So I gotta do that. And hope to God I have enough time. <laughs> go, 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 go. And flip. Yeah! Room complete. Let's see what's up in this room now. Oh, wait, wait, we're on the top level of... The room that, uh, yeah, this is the room with that block puzzle, okay. I definitely don't want to fall down here, so I'm just going to hop across here nice and easy. Because otherwise I'll have to go through all those other rooms again, and I definitely don't want to do that. I'm pretty sure I can do this, 
Yes! Please give me something good. Ah, I want a bigger wallet. <laughs> ah, okay, let's go back. At least I'm 100%ing the dungeon by getting all the uh, treasure chests. So let's see what's up through this room. Shortcut, perhaps. Grab, I'll just drop it right here where the bomb flower was. It doesn't burn its own leaves. That would that would make too much sense in a video game, you know, if you just li li laid on the leaves there. Okay, now... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, I also heard in the comments that this is the uh, L is Real 2011 sign or something like that. Or... Uh, from Super Mario 64 in the courtyard thing, so that's a little cameo appearance of that sign So that's a pretty cool thing that I didn't know before I betcha that I could use that bomb right there to blow up That wall over there see that down there Let's see what I can do here. I can always get up here as many times as I want to if I just like uh, oops <laughs> I just bounce off the wall if I were to just use that platform to come back up here, that elevator platform. Let's hop down here really quick. Go, 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 go. No, oh, no, 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 no. Pick up, throw, no. I w didn't have enough momentum to throw. <laughs> because uh, when whenever you fall down from an area and you, you know, you want to try and prevent damage. And to do that, you have to roll forward. All you have to do is press forward on the control stick to do that. But in that case, I was holding a bomb, so I wasn't able to do that. So, does that mean that I have to take damage here in order to... Well, I don't know. But I'm just going to blow up this wall and end it off like that. Okay. Uh, I, I said I was going to go get the treasure... I mean, uh, the, the upgraded wallet at Kakariko once I got back to the lobby here. But I just don't feel like walking back there, honestly. Let's just see what's going on ahead here. Okay, we got a really weird set of white blocks here. These definitely weren't here in the original game, that's for sure. Um, a boulder, which I'll likely have to blow up. No baby Dodongos, though, so... Anything beyond this wall? I hear some keys roaming around this... Oh, freaking, it's a fire keys. Can I hit it? And I see that I see that skull tula up there on the ceiling. I just don't like it. there we go. <laughs> now about oh wait wait bomb on bomb on the wall chain reaction perhaps maybe okay where's that s there it is fall back down thank you and. Okay, now uh, what about this room here? If I hit if I hit a bomb with something like a vase or a pellet or I don't know something like that, will it explode? Okay, I missed completely. <laughs> uh, let's try that again, because I I don't think my sword can trigger a bomb, and I know I can't grab him off the wall. Okay, that failed altogether, and that was a direct hit for sure. So, wait, 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 I see it. a bomb flower right there underneath the boulder. Wait, what was that? Did you hear that click? Oh, whoa, 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 these things move up, okay. <laughs> well, that works for me. Now I know how to blow up this boulder. I'll just plop this down there. There we go, and that blows up that, ironically. And then I should be able to use this to blow up those ones on the wall and create another chain reaction to do something else, maybe to open the door or something. Let's see. I hope this doesn't cause a cave-in. Oh, it's an eye. I see. Oh ho ho, a pun of sorts, sort of. That probably made no one laugh. Anyway, that opens that door, and I notice that I'm close to the 15 minute mark here, so I think I'm gonna end off this part here. I hope you enjoyed this part, and I'll see you in the next part when we see what is beyond door number 366 and a half.
That was fantastic. Toodaloo!